Well, good evening and welcome to Arkadelphia High School for tonight's 4A7 doubleheader between the Arkadelphia Badgers and the Hope Bobcats. Kicking us off tonight will be the Lady Badgers versus the Lady Bobcats of Hope. Good evening, everybody. This is Chris Babb. Hope you are having or had a great uh, first week of the year, first full week of the year as we are into 2019. This is the fifth conference game for both of these teams, both of them looking for their first victory of the conference season as we are just about two games from wrapping up the first half of the conference schedule. Then obviously we'll go to a second part of the round robin before the teams head for the district tournament which will be held at Mena High School. Arkadelphia and Hope are preparing for the for the national anthem, I believe, or the starting lineups. We'll wait until public address announcer Steve Patterson begins his work tonight. We're glad that you're joining us from wherever you may be. Sorry we were not able to bring the Nashville game to you. The Lady Badgers down by two at halftime, ended up losing by 10. Nashville had a three possessions in the fourth quarter, two three-pointers and a, a layup that put the Scrapperettes on an 8-0 run before they really set the, the margin of victory in that game. As Nashville won at Nashville. The Lady Badgers and Badgers are home against Hope tonight. And then also we'll be home Tuesday night against the Mina Lady Bearcats and the Bearcats. We are about ready for action here tonight as the Arkadelphia Lady Badgers and the Hope Lady Bobcats will get things going. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. First for the visiting Hope Bobcats under head coach Susan Powers. They'll go with a two-guard, two-forward, and a post lineup. A senior 5-4 guard, number three, Jalea Davis. At forward, a 5-9 junior, number four, Renasia Miller. At guard, a sophomore, she stands 5'6", and she's a guard. Mariana McClinton, she's number 10. And at post, a 5'9", senior, number 20, Zaria Woods. And the fifth starter, the forward, a sophomore, she stands 5'7", number 24, Nia Kara McGee. So for the Hope Bombcats, Jalea Davis, Renasia Miller, Mariana McClinton, Zariah Woods, and Nia Kara McGee. For the Arkadelphia Lady Badgers, under first-year head coach Jonathan Klein, they'll go with the familiar starting lineup, with one change, a guard, a point guard, a 5'8 senior, number 10, Jamari Whitaker. 
At another guard, a 5'6'' senior, number 13, Mary Jane Adame. Getting the start at another guard, a three-guard lineup for the Lady Badgers tonight, a 5'5'' five five sophomore, number 22, Olivia Locke. Two post players, Ashari Whitaker, a 5'8'' sophomore. She wears number 30. And then in the middle, Hannah Fanaki, the 6'' senior center, wearing number 55. So for the Arkadelphia Lady Badgers, Jamari Whitaker, Mary Jane Adame, Olivia Locke, Ashari Whitaker, and Hannah Fanaki. The Lady Badgers will look to get the first, their first conference victory, a tough loss at Malvern right before Christmas break. Uh, sent the Lady Badgers into the Cameron Hale Invitational. And the Lady Badgers after the Christmas break had a, a win against Gurdon, a 40 to 27 victory against the Lady Go Devils one week ago tonight. And then the loss at Nashville, and they'll look to get, make it two straight home wins at Arkadelphia High School as they take on the Lady Bobcats tonight. At the conclusion of this game, we'll have the boys game between the Badgers and Bobcats. This is the first year in a while that Arkadelphia and Hope have been in the same conference in varsity action as Hope will be in Arkadelphia's 4A7 conference for baseball, basketball, and softball, as well as track. And this is the first matchup between the two this season. So Hannah Fanaki and Mia Kara McGee will jump center. And Arkadelphia in the home whites and Hope in the maroons. And we are underway. Arkadelphia will come out in a man-to-man -man defense. Olivia Lott guarding the point. Cutting off Julia Davis. Arkadelphia trying to force Hope out of their offensive flow early. Backside rebound was not there. Hannah Fanaki came up with the rebound and Jamari Whitaker off the other way for the Lady Badgers quickly up the left side to Locke. Jamari Whitaker, excuse me, Ashari Whitaker will spot up for three, and it's good for Ashari Whitaker. And the Lady Badgers get on the board first and lead three to nothing. Good looking shot that time by Ashari Whitaker, the sophomore for Arkadelphia. Another steal by Arkadelphia, and now Ashari Whitaker will bring the ball up the right side. Another three-pointer on the way. No good. Rebound to the Lady Bobcats. Quickly up the right side of the floor goes Hope. Blocking foul as Jamari Whitaker tried to go up for the block. But she was called for a foul. Jalea Davis at the line for Hope. First free throw is short. Off the front of the rim, no good. Kaylin Rook Sims will check in for Arkadelphia, replacing Mary Jane Adame in the Lady Badger lineup. Hope looks to get on the board for the first time tonight and does with a free throw. A little more ball handling there in the lineup for Arkadelphia now. Ashari Whitaker shot is no good. Quickly the other way go the Lady Bobcats. Shot it blocked by Jamari Whitaker into the hands of Ashari. Quickly up. Stolen away by Hope, but then the nice steal by Jalea Davis, but she couldn't control it. Ball goes out of bounds as Davis stepped on the sideline, and the ball will go over to the Lady Badgers. Jamari Whitaker running the point for the Lady Badgers now.
Olivia Locke to Kalen. Rook to Sims. Passes up the three-pointer and penetrates. Nice dish out to Ashari Whitaker inside the lock. But a foul is going to be called. Nice ball movement by the Lady Badgers. A lot of contact, no call, and Hope is on the other way. Shari Whitaker thought she was going to be able to go to the free throw line, and nothing, offensive rebound for Hope. Next shot could not go, and the Lady Badgers are on the move now with Kaitlyn Rook-Sims up the left side to Shari Whitaker. She'll spot up for three, too strong. Rebound to Rook-Sims, stolen away by Davis, and she'll come quickly up the right side. She'll try to beat the Lady Badger defense back, and a foul is going to be called. And Jalea Davis is going back to the free throw line for well, Hope. Three to one, Arkadelphia with the lead. Jalea Davis has the only point for Hope. As she hit one of two free throws. Misses this one as well. That foul was called on Olivia Locke. That's her first personal foul. Second team foul. Second free throw, no good as well, but Hope almost got that offensive rebound. And she did step out of bounds, and the ball will go to Arkadelphia. Arkadelphia hit its first shot of the game. Nice dish that time by Kalen Rook Sims. Get the ball inside to Hannah Finaki. Foul is called on Neakara McGee of Hope, her first. Second team foul against the Bobcats. Hannah Finaki goes to the free throw line. Off the back of the rim, no good. Still three to one. Midway through the first quarter. Ashari Whitaker accounted for those three points for the Lady Badgers. And they've not been able to get anything to go since. Arkadelphia's man-to-man -man defense pressuring Hope way out on the perimeter. A flash by Whitaker, uh, Jamari Whitaker. Now a blocked shot out of bounds, and it'll stay with Hope. Three to one still, Jamari Whitaker. Flash for the steal, about 35 feet out. Another shot, no good. Rebound to Jamari Whitaker. Quickly up the left side to Rook Sims. Kalen penetrates, has the ball stolen away from her. And now Hope is on the run and a foul is going to be called on Jamari Whitaker. Foul is called on Jamari Whitaker. That's her second personal foul. Free throw is no good. Coach Klein trying to get an explanation on the foul call. It's the second free throw, no good as well. And Hannah Finaki with the rebound. Quickly up the right side, Rook sends to Jamari Whitaker. She goes in, pull up. Shot is no good, but she is fouled on the arm, on the shot. And Jamari's going to go to the free throw line. Foul on Renasia Miller. It's her first, third team foul against Hope. Jamari Whitaker is going to go to the free throw line. Off the back rim, no good. She'll step back and try to knock this one down and get the lid off the top of that bucket. Off the left side that time and rebound to Hope. Neither team. That foul is on a Shari Whitaker. 
Fourth team foul, first on Ashari. And Hope goes back to the free throw line and makes their second of six. Now they're two for six or two for seven from the free throw line. Are the Hope Lady Bobcats. And Zariah Woods gets her first point of the game and it's three to two. Lady Badgers, nice rebound on that missed free throw by Ashari Whitaker. Rook Sims quickly upside to Haley Nix, who just checked into the game. Fanaki on the right side to Rook Sims. Four in, one, excuse me, four out set for the Lady Badgers. Double teamed by Nix. A lot of contact, goodness gracious. Ball's knocked away. Nix still hasn't. She's double teamed to Rook, excuse me, Locke. Rook Sims going to go in. Nice in, uh, entry pass to Hannah Fanaki. But the ball is knocked out of bounds by Hope, and Arkadelphia will inbound under its own basket. Lady Badgers had a nice looking shot on its first possession. But since then, they've not been able to find the basket. Nix for three, in and out, no good. Hannah Fanaki did a very nice job of not fouling Hope's. Zariah Woods on that rebound. Rook Sims gets it in to Locke. Penetrates out to Nix. Nix dump off pass to Fanaki, but it goes out of bounds. And they're going to say last touch by Hope. Because Susan Powers doesn't agree. I can understand why. Now the ball is going to go back into Olivia Locke. Corner to Rook Sims. Foul is going to be called on Hope Lady Bobcat guard Mariana McClinton. First foul, fourth team foul. And Arkadelphia has the ball in front of the Hope basket. Haley Nix is double teamed again, stolen away by the Lady Bobcats. Three on two, Euro step layup off the front of the rim, rebound to Locke. To Nix. She'll slow it down and set things up by giving the ball to Rook Sims. Four sophomores and a senior on the floor for the Arkadelphia Lady Badgers. As we try to catch our clock up on that, apologize for that. Four sophomores and a senior on the floor for the Lady Badgers as neither team has found a rhythm offensively. Arkadelphia got the first basket of the game on a three-pointer from Ashari Whitaker on the first possession of the game. But since then, not been able to get in a rhythm offensively. Neither has Hope. The two points for the Lady Bobcats have come at the free throw line. But they also missed several. A two of eight from the free throw line are the Hope Lady Bobcats. Second Friday of January, first full week for, actually not a first full week of student, uh, school for the students yet. Arkadelphia's second semester for students started back on Tuesday. And so teachers, faculty, staff, and students back in the rhythm of school. And I'm sure we're ready for a weekend. Seventh grade Jamboree will be here tomorrow at Arkadelphia High School. Schools from around the south, the southern part of the state will Pete, seventh grade boys and girls starting about eight o'clock and they'll wrap up in the early afternoon. Nix penetrates and the ball is going to be knocked out of bounds by Hope. It will be Arkadelphia's ball. Nick Rook sends into Haley Nix. Layup good for Haley Nix. Her first basket of the game. And it's 5-2, to two, Arkadelphia. Nice backdoor pass by the Lady Bobcats. Offensive rebound again and a putback for Nia Kara McGee. Her first basket, it's 5-4. to four. Rook Sims quickly the other way, goes down the right side, cut off and pulls it back. Haley Nix penetrates, pull up from 15, and she's fouled. She'll go back to the free throw line for two more shots. 
That foul was on Renasia Miller. That's her second personal foul, fifth team foul. And Haley Nix will go to the line for Arkadelphia. Nix, one of four sophomores on the floor for the Lady Badgers right now. The lone non-sophomore is senior Hannah Fanaki. Nix misses the first free throw, knocks down the second. She has three, and it is six to two. Excuse me, six to four as we update the Hope side of the scoreboard. Lady Bobcats have not been able to get into a rhythm as we have a steal by Haley Nix. Their points have come on two free throws and a putback. Zone defense from Hope. Olivia Locke in the corner. And three seconds in the lane is going to be called on Arkadelphia. Checking into the game for Hope will be Dana Daniel Muldrow, a 5'7 sophomore forward. 6'4 Arkadelphia, 124 remaining in the first quarter. Both of these teams looking for their first conference win. A shot is up and a foul is going to be called on Ashari Whitaker. Wow. That's a tough one. That's the second foul on Ashari. Mary Jane Adame will check in for Arkadelphia. If anybody, I thought the foul was going to be called on Olivia Locke. Looked like Ashari was straight up. But regardless, she was called for the foul and Woods hits her second free throw. Excuse me, her first free throw. Miss on the second. Rebound to Arkadelphia. Rook Sims out to Locke for three. Good for Olivia Locke. And it's nine to five, Arkadelphia. Good looking shot in rhythm from the sophomore guard. Her first points of the game, nine to five, Arkadelphia. Double team, nice entry pass. Nice job by Haley Nix of standing straight up. Finaki gets the rebound, locked quickly down the right side. She's going to go all the way. He's cut off on the baseline, pulls it back out, gets it to Adame, does Finaki, and they'll set it back up with Rook Sims. Skip pass to Olivia, spots up, three-pointer off the glass. No good, rebound to Hope. Pass is stolen away by Arkadelphia. Sorry about the camera work there. Kaylin Rook Sims with 15 seconds now with Arkadelphia trying to get the last shot of the first quarter. Stolen away. She's going to have time to get the shot off. Layup no good. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter. Arkadelphia leading Hope. Nine to five as we go to the second quarter of play. <clears throat> Not a lot of scoring, but let's recap it. First for Hope, Jalea Davis with, has one free throw. Zariah Woods has two points. Both of those came at the free throw line. And Nia Kara McGee has the only field goal of the first quarter for Hope. For the Arkadelphia Lady Badgers, three players have accounted for the nine points, three each. It's Olivia Locke and Ashari Whitaker, both hit three pointers. And then Haley Nix had a basket and a free throw to account for the scoring for the Arkadelphia Lady Badgers. Arkadelphia will have the ball as we 
begin the second quarter. Jamari Whitaker comes back into the lineup for the Lady Badgers, as does Ashari Whitaker, both of those with two fouls apiece. Nice job that time by Jamari of knowing that she had two fouls and just getting tall and forcing the turnover by the Lady Bobcats. Four out, one in against this zone defense. Actually, three and two. Haley, you know, it is a four and one. Haley Nix, right side, left side. Ashari Whitaker, three pointer, no good. Rebound to Mary Jane Adame. Nice interior pass to Hannah Fanaki, but she dribbled it, she put it on the floor, and now we're going to have a foul as Nia Kara McGee from Hope kind of put the earmuffs on Mary Jane Adame, grabbing her by the head. Her second personal foul, sixth team foul, and Arkadelphia will be in the bonus the rest of the second quarter. The way this is gone, that could lead to several free throws. Good inbounds pass by the Lady Badgers. Uh, inbounds play as Haley Nix finds a wide open Ashari Whitaker, and it's 11 to 5 now. The Lady Badgers' lead is six. A 1 3 1 defense now is coming out to start the second quarter for the Lady Badgers. Played the entire first quarter in a man-to-man. -man. They force an errant shot from the right short corner. And a rebound to Nix. And the Lady Badgers are on the move. Ball knocked away. Three on one. Jamari has two fouls. Let's see how she plays this one. She can't do much. The layup is good. Nice pass. A little give and go action. Good looking shot that time by Jamari Whitaker, but it was no good. Another Euro step layup, no good. And the ball will go over to Arkadelphia. Eleven to seven is your score. Arkadelphia leads by four. Early in the second quarter, still a 2-1-2 defense from Hope. Arkadelphia with the four out, one in. Early three-pointer, no good. Nice hustle by Jamari Whitaker. The ball is tied up, and alternating possession will go to the Lady Bobcats as Arkadelphia will show a little bit of 2-2-1, three-quarter court pressure. Nice job by Mary Jane Adame of hounding the ball, except she's going to get, oh, get in. And Hannah Fanaki is going to be called for a foul. Man, that's a tough call against Hannah Fanaki. Free throw is no good. Coach Klein wanting an explanation from the same official. That was a tough call against Hannah Fanaki. Free throw is no good. Stolen away by Hope. And the Lady Bobcats are going to pull things back and set them up. Double dribble. It's pretty obvious and it took a second because that's one of those that you don't expect to see. The official did see it. And it will go over to the Lady Badgers. Jamari Whitaker running the point for Arkadelphia. Nick's on the left side. Called for a travel. Let's 
1-3-1 defense still by the Lady Badgers. They've come out and shown a couple of different looks defensively in the second quarter, try to force things and make things happen. They're going to force an errant shot. And the rebound to Arkadelphia. Haley Nix looking nice. Pull up by Nix. She was looking, I think, originally she was looking inside to dump it down to Hannah Fanaki, But instead, the foul is going to be on host Jalea Davis. That's the seven. So both teams will be in the bonus from here on out. And they're going to rule that, oh, sorry about that. They're going to rule that Haley was in the act of shooting, so she's going to go to the free throw line where she knocks down her first. She has four points. And it is 12 to 7. Second free throw good as well. And she now has five points, and it's 13 to seven, Arkadelphia. The lead is back to six, as we still see the one three one defense from the Lady Badgers. Nice entry pass by Hope. They're able to get a shot up. On the other end, Mary Jane Adame, shot is no good. Fought for the rebound, but it is controlled by the Lady Bobcats on the other way. Shot up, no good. Rebound by Nix. Jamari Whitaker up the floor for Arkadelphia. 13 to nine as we update the score. Long three-pointer from Achari Whitaker, no good, but a foul is going to be called on Hannah Fanaki. That's her second personal foul. And now we're gonna go to the free throw line for a one and one. 13 to nine, Lady Badgers lead by four. We're going to go 4.05 left in the first half. Olivia Locke will come into the game now. As take a look at the foul trouble in the already here in the first half, second quarter. Three Lady Badgers with two fouls apiece. They account for six of the seven fouls committed by Arkadelphia. Free throw is no good. Rebound to Olivia Locke. Ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch, it's ruled by Hope. So the Lady Badgers will retain possession. Here's Jamari Whitaker. Still the four out, one in zone offense from the Lady Badgers. Night inside pass to Jamari Whitaker. That pass was from Olivia Locke. And a foul on Hope. That's Jalea Davis, her second. So now the eighth team foul against Hope. Jamari Whitaker goes to the line where she misses her third. Lady Badgers, usually a decent free throw shooting team, but if not, shot free throws well tonight. Jamari gets that one to go. She's on the board. And... She gives Arkadelphia a five-point lead. Nice block shot. Ball rolls around, controlled by Lady Badgers and Haley Nix. Now stolen away by the Lady Cats. Lady Bobcats down the other way now. Shot up. Mm, no good. Anytime you have a block shot that time by Jamari. We're going to have an ill, she said, oh, I thought they called a foul, but they said that Jamari stepped on the baseline, so it will go over to Hope. I was afraid the way he pointed to, the way he pointed, I thought he had raised his hand with a closed fist and was going to call a foul on Arkadelphia. That would not have voted well for the Lady Badgers. A three-pointer on the way and good from Hope. And it's 14 to 12. It's 
Get pass to Whitaker. Locke will try to answer with a three of her own. No good. And a... Whew. And the outlet pass, I think Hope might have gotten away with a little bit of foul as Mary Jane Adame had position. There's no such thing really as over the back, but if you influence the play and affect the play, then now a steal from the Lady Badgers. Quickly ahead to Mary Jane, and she's wisely going to pull this one out as we come up on two, just under two and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Lady Badgers leading 14 to 12. Lock at the top of the key. Back to Haley Nix. She's going to pull up from 17. Jumper no good. It's going to go out of bounds. It's going to stay with Arkadelphia. The officials hold the play up for some reason. And now we're back into action. Olivia Locke, nice anticipation that time by Hope's sophomore forward, Nia Kara McGee, as Arkadelphia was trying to reverse the ball. She jumped in the passing lane and was able to knock that ball out of bounds to keep the wide open shot from falling. Haley Nix get the rebound. Nice job, nice offensive rebound by Haley Nix. Nia Kara McGee picks up her third personal foul. Kaylin Rook Sims will check in for Arkadelphia after the first free throw from Haley Nix. Nix has five. She'll try to add to that and the two-point lead. Free throw rolls around and drops out. And Kaylin Rook Sims will come into the game to replace Olivia Locke. Fourteen to twelve, one fifty-four now. Excuse me, one fifty-four remaining in the first half. Haley Nix for second free throw off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound stolen away by Ashari Whitaker. Her shot is no good. As Ashari followed her shot, and as Hope grabbed the ball, official says they stepped on the baseline. So it'll be Arkadelphia ball under its own basket. Jamari for three. That's going to be off the glass. No good. Rebound to Hope. Quickly the other way. Block shot by Jamari Whitaker. How many times have you seen it? Jamari is going to get a block on one end, lay up on the other. Nice job by Jamari Whitaker of getting the block shot, then outrunning the defense and making the layup in transition. Still 1-3-1 for Arkadelphia defensively. Long three-pointer on the way off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound to Kalen. Kalen Rook Sims going to bring it quickly up. Up ahead to looking for Adame. Stolen away by Hope. Now the Lady Bobcats on the way. A shot no good. Blocked by Jamari Whitaker. Offensive rebound. And a Lady Bobcat just threw her own teammate down coming up over her back got the rebound and just threw her own teammate down and that one you could hear the thud I don't know if you could hear it but we'll move the camera over here and respect her privacy and hope that uh she is okay, Coach Susan Powers, and the Hope coaching staff and training staff will come out and check on the young lady. And she did hit the ground very hard. So 16 to 14, say 49 seconds remaining in the first half. And 
The trainer still attending to the young lady. She did. She was going up for the rebound. Her own teammate took, came from behind her and uh, grabbed the rebound. And when she landed, she fell straight back on its on her head. And she's still being tended to on the floor. She sits up to a nice. Round of applause. Two teams are still gathering at their benches. And now she stands to her feet. With help, and she's walking off. So good to see that from Zariah Woods, the sophomore post player. Walking off gingerly, though, she did land directly on her head. And she's walking off. Glad to see that she is okay. Again, reset the game, 16 to 14. Arkadelphia leads by two. And it will be the Lady Badgers ball with 49 seconds remaining in the first half. Ashari Whitaker and Jamari Whitaker both on the floor for Arkadelphia with two fouls each. Hannah Finaki also has two fouls. She is not on the floor right now for the Lady Badgers. Two-three zone the entire time from the Lady Bobcats. Arkadelphia has gone mostly with a four-out, one-in. Offense, Jamari Whitaker looking to go baseline, kicks it back out to Kaitlyn Rook Sims. Interior pass to Ashari Whitaker, and I think that might have been Hope's ball if Jalea Davis uh, let that go. It might have been Hope's ball. Three-pointer too strong from Jamari Whitaker, but Kaitlyn Rook Sims is Johnny on the spot with the rebound. Now she'll try a wide open three-pointer. Good for Kaylin Rook Sims. Yeah, her first basket of the night. And it is 19 to 14 as we come up on halftime. See if Hope's gonna be able to get a shot off. And she didn't want the shot. A long shot at the buzzer is no good. And that is your halftime score. Arkadelphia 19, Hope 14. As we go to the third quarter. After halftime, and we will be back in just a few minutes. We'll set the camera on the scoreboard so you can know when we're coming back to action. And we'll be back. Your halftime score in the girls' game, Arkadelphia Lady Badgers 19, Hope Lady Bobcats 14. We'll be back in just a few minutes for the third quarter.
All right, welcome back to Arkadelphia High School where the Arkadelphia Lady Badgers lead the Hope Lady Bobcats 19-14. to We are ending halftime. Let's take a look at the scoring. First for Hope, led with four points from Jalea Davis, two points apiece from four different players, Daniel Muldrew, Mariana McClinton, Zariah Woods, and Nia Kara McGee. For the Arkadelphia Lady Badgers, they're led by sophomore Haley Nix. Haley has five, and then four other players have three. Jamari Whitaker... Kaylin Rook Sims, Olivia Locke, and Ashari Whitaker, all with three points apiece. The teams are back on the floor. Now we're just waiting for some officials so we can start this second half of play tonight. It will be Arkadelphia's ball. When the officials come back out, and we're ready to go, as they are. <coughs> Excuse me. They are here, and we're ready to go. Starting the second half for Arkadelphia, Shari Whitaker, Hannah Fanaki, Jamari Whitaker, all on the floor, all with two fouls, and then Haley Nix and Mary Jane Adame for the Lady Badgers. Still the zone defense from Hope. Four out, one in, and that back is flashing for the Lady Badgers. The backside baseline is flashing for the Lady Badgers every time. Ashari Nix off to Mary Jane Adame, penetrates in, throws one up before she walks, and a foul is going to be called on Ho. Coach Susan Powers not happy with that call, and rightly so. It was Mariana... Second foul on Mariana McClinton. And Mary Jane Adame is going to go to the free throw line for the Lady Badgers. The senior trying to extend this Arkadelphia lead. Free throw is high, but off the back of the rim, no good. And she'll try to step in there for the second free throw and extend this Arkadelphia lead. Second free throw off the right side of the rim, no good. Both teams struggling offensively and from the free throw line tonight. Arkadelphia comes out in the 1-3-1. Shot is up, no good. Nice battle around for the rebound. Controlled by Hope. Shot is no good. Quickly ahead, Haley Nix throws it ahead for Ashari Whitaker, but it is stolen by Hope. But she was standing on the baseline when she picked up the ball. <clears throat> nice hustle by Ashari Whitaker to pick up that outlet pass from Haley Nix. At least get there and force Hope to the turnover. Hey, Nix into Ashari Whitaker. Shot up, no good. Quickly the other way for Hope. Ugly shot, and she's going to get bailed out with a foul. That's going to be on Mary Jane Adame. That's the first foul on Mary Jane. First foul of the second half. Hope to the free throw line off the back of the rim. No good. Neither team shooting well from the free throw line tonight. Second free throw is good for Daniel Muldrew. Her third point of the game. And it is 19 to 15. Arkadelphia leads by four. Ball movement around the outside and a flash and a steal. And Hope is going to cut into this lead. Now a little bit of a 2-2-1 two -two press. Zariah Woods has four, and it is 19 to 17. Nix quickly the other end. Dribbles down, pulls it back out, now back in. Ball is stolen away by Hope. The interior pass to Hannah Fanaki was stolen away. Shot up, no good. Foul is going to be called on Hope. Foul 
foul was on for Hope. That was Natasha White. Her first, first time she's been in the game. And it goes over to Arkadelphia, 19-17. Around six minutes to go. Now Hope's gonna try to pressure Arkadelphia and force a turnover. Ball does go out of bounds. It's last touched by Hope. Adame right side to Ashari Whitaker. Back up to Jamari. Nice pass, nice move by Haley Nix. And a foul is going to be called on Hope. That foul is going to be on Daniel Muldrow, her first, third team foul of the second half already against the Lady Bobcats. And now Haley Nix will go back to the free throw line for Arkadelphia. She does have three free throws tonight and tries to make it four, but off the rim, no good. Second one is good, and Haley Nix gets things going for the Lady Badgers in the third quarter. Nice interior pass against the zone defense, and a shot from Muldrow. Arkadelphia quickly ahead, and they're going to have a turnover. 20 to 19. Arkadelphia, and goodness gracious, got to travel against Hope. 20 to 19, the Lady Badgers lead. They've led the entire game to this point. They got the scoring started with a three-pointer from Ashari Whitaker. Another traveling violation is going to be called. And the ball will go back to Hope. Arkadelphia will extend the 1-3-1 defense. Penetrate in the middle, shot, pull up shot for the lead, no good, rebound to Arkadelphia. Jamari Whitaker quickly the other way, two on two, she dumps it off to Ashari, off to Haley Nix, pull up from the baseline, good for Haley Nix. She has eight, and it's back to a three point lead, 22 to 19, in favor of the Lady Badgers. Three pointer to tie it, no good, and that's just Getting out hustled are the Lady Badgers, especially on that possession. Hannah Fanaki is going to be called for a foul. It's her third personal foul. Free throw, no good from Hope. And Kaylin Rook Sims will check into the lineup for. Arkadelphia replacing Hannah Fanaki. Making free throw from Muldrow is good. She has six, 22 to 20. Kaylin Rook Sims penetrates, shot up, no good. A lot of contact there, no foul was called. Of all the fouls they have called, they didn't call one there. Jump ball, possession arrow will go to Hope. Lady Bobcats can try to tie the game or take a lead with a three-pointer on this possession. Three-pointer on the way, no good. A quick whistle there for the jump ball. It's going to stay with Arkadelphia, but Arkadelphia would have liked to have kept that one and just Haley Nix ripped the ball away and then kept the possession arrow. Nice flash by the Lady Bobcats to knock that ball out of bounds. It'll be Arkadelphia's ball, 356 
3.58 actually remaining in the third quarter. Nice inbounds pass from Rook Sims to Ashari Whitaker. Doesn't get it to go. Hope quickly the other way. Layup no good. Rebound to Arkadelphia. Goodness gracious. Jamari Whitaker, a lot of contact. Gets the ball off to Mary Jane. Ahead to Kaylin Rook Sims. Layup no good. Gets her own rebound. Shot up no good. But a foul is going to be called on Hope. And that foul is going to be on Mariana McClinton. That's her third, fourth team foul against Hope. And Kaylin Rook Sims, a good free throw shooter, is going to go to the lady, go to the line for the Lady Badgers. Try to make this a two possession lead for Arkadelphia. A good looking free throw from Kaylin Rook Sims. She now has four, and she extends the Arkadelphia lead to three points. Try to make it four with this free throw. Same rhythm, same pattern, off to the right. No good. Rebound to Hope. Errant layup, no good. Goodness, a lot of contact. Mary Jane Adame gets it to Jamari Whitaker. She's going to go in, have the ball knocked away. And there's the jump ball that Arkadelphia would have liked to have kept while ago. Instead, the quick whistle on Haley Nix's rebound. Gives the ball, gave the ball to the Lady Badgers, and this jump ball goes to the Lady Bobcats. Arkadelphia with a three-point lead. Coming up on three minutes to go here in the third quarter. Nice backdoor pass. Arkadelphia just didn't get back. That's Renasia Miller gets her first basket of the game. Now a foul is going to be called on Hope. That foul is called on Jalea Davis, her third personal foul. Fifth foul against Hope. Arkadelphia clinging to a one-point lead. Adame to Rook Sims. Long cross-court pass to Whitaker. Foul is going to be called on Hope. Kaylin Wilkes Sims was driving to, excuse me, Mary Jane was driving to the right, trying to get the ball inside. Foul is going to be called on Hope. That is called on Mariana McClinton. That's her fourth. So she'll come out. Mia Karen McGee comes into the game. She has three herself. <clears throat> Olivia Locke came into the game for Arkadelphia, also at the dead ball. And she replaced Mary Jane Adame in that Arkadelphia lineup. So now, Rook Sims, ball knocked away. Stolen away by Rook Sims. And now, she got knocked. So now, I think we're going to. Boy, he called a foul on Arkadelphia. I don't understand what just happened. But there was a foul called on Ashari Whitaker. Uh, regardless, that's her third personal foul. Ooh. Hey, cross court pass there from Hope. Dangerous pass. Another foul. That's going to be on Olivia Locke, her second, I believe. And Hope is going back to the free throw line, and they can take their first lead of the game if they make both of these free throws. It would be the first time tonight either team had made both free throws. First free throw is up, and no good. She crossed the line. The lane violation was called. Two minutes to go in the third quarter, 23-22. She stepped on the line, too, that time. She went over the line again, and you don't really see that ever, much less two times from the same girl. 
So Arkadelphia maintains the lead. Now they have the ball. Ashari Whitaker to Olivia Locke. Cross court pass to Kalen, and she slipped down trying to go get it. Timeout, Hope. One minute, 50 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Arkadelphia 23, Hope 22. Take a look at the foul situation. First for Hope. Mariana McClinton is out of the game. Well, she is on the bench right now. She has four personal fouls. Jalea Davis has three. Nia Kara McGee has three. Zariah Woods has four points for Hope, but she is still out of the game after she took an ugly spill and landed or fell hard on the back of her head. So doesn't look like she is going to be able to come back to the game right now just based on looking at her on the Hope bench for the Lady Badgers. Hannah Finaki and Ashari Whitaker each have three. Jamari Whitaker and Olivia Locke have two. And Mary Jane Adame has one. 23-22. Arkadelphia with the slimmest of leads trying to come up with a stop here. Pass in the middle of the lane. Shot. Oh, my goodness. He's going to call a foul on that. Mm. That is tough. That's a tough, tough break for Olivia Locke. She got called for her third personal foul. And Hope ties the game and can take the lead here, and they do. And she stepped over the line again as a different girl. But Muldrow gets two free throws, and Hope has its first lead of the game. The other way, a lot of contact. No foul called. Rebound to Hope. Goodness. Hope now will try to build on its... 24 to 23 lead. Arkadelphia still in a 1-3-1. Skip pass to the backside. Three-pointer on the way. In and out, no good. And Hope's just out hustling the Lady Badgers. Muldrow is the leading scorer. She leads all players. As we count them up real quick. She has 10 points, the only player in double digits. Foul is on Muldrow, and Kalen Rook Sims will go back to the free throw line. Try to give Arkadelphia the lead back in this one point game. She's one of two from the free throw line tonight. Now one of three. Off the back of the rim, no good. I'm sorry, I missed a bat, that last basket. Hope is up by three, trying to cut into the Hope lead, and she does. Does Kaylin Rook Sim? She has five points. 26 24. Arkadelphia trails by two as we are about to wrap up this fourth quarter, excuse me, third quarter. Arkadelphia could really use a defensive stop here. Instead, Hope penetrates in the middle of the zone and adds two more. Twenty-eight, twenty-four. Olivia Lott, jumper from the baseline. Good looking shot from Olivia Lott. She has five. And Hope's gonna chunk one from the volleyball ten foot line. It's no good, and at the end of the third quarter, Hope 28, Arkadelphia 26. It will be Arkadelphia's ball coming out of the
Third quarter timeout, Lady Badgers, as we take a look at the scoring, Haley Nix leads the Lady Badgers with eight points. Olivia Locke and Kaylin Rook Sims each have five points. Ashari Whitaker with three, Jamari Whitaker with three. Foul trouble for the Lady Badgers, three players with three fouls apiece. That's Olivia Locke, Ashari Whitaker, Hannah Finaki. Jamari Whitaker got two in the first quarter and has played really well with two fouls and has not committed a foul since then. And Mary Jane Adame has one foul. The net, Arkadelphia has only committed five fouls in the second half that, that came in the third quarter. For the Hope Lady Bobcats, 12 points for Daniel Muldrow. The sophomore forward leads all scorers. She has 12. Four points for Zariah Woods. Four for Julia Davis. Two each for Renasia Miller, Mariana McClinton, and Nyakara McGee. Foul trouble for Hope. Mariana McClinton has 10, and she is not in the game right now. for the Lady Bobcats. Zone defense still from Hope. Haley Nix is gonna spot up for three. That was short. Rebound to Hope quickly the other way. They're just beating the Lady Badgers down the floor. And quickly the other way, Arkadelphia gets it. Jamari Whitaker, nice pass to Kalen Rook Sims. And it's 30 to 28. Arkadelphia just needs to get some stops, and there's one of the, an unforced error. We saw a lot of those from both teams in the first half. And that was an unforced error committed by Hope, and that gives the ball to Arkadelphia. 1-2-2 two, two pressure from the Bobcats. Nix in the middle of that gets it back out to Rook Sims. Skip pass to Rook Sims, excuse me, to Nix. Traveling violation is called, and now I believe Hope's going to call a timeout. So 7-0-2 will adjust our clock. Timeout called by Hope, 30-28. to 28. Hope leads by two. In this 4A7 conference matchup, on the floor for Arkadelphia, Kaitlyn Rook Sims, Hannah Finaki, Olivia Locke, Jamari Whitaker, and Haley Nix. Locke has three, and Finaki also. Locke and Finaki each have three fouls. Arkadelphia has committed five fouls in the second half, and Hope has already committed seven fouls and put Arkadelphia in the one and one for the rest of the way. <laughs> Arkadelphia extending that zone out now, try to pressure, pressure the ball. And the foul is going to be called on Olivia Locke. That's her fourth personal foul. Shot is up. No good. Goodness gracious. No, 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 no. That should be, that should. Be. Did he call a jump ball? That should be Arkadelphia's ball. White ball. Hope got it out of the. I guess I'm incorrect. That was a timeout. That's what I get for thinking. Hannah Calhoun into the game for Arkadelphia. Getting rhythm and. Maybe get a little outside threat. Nice interior pass by Kaylin Rook Sims looking for Finaki. My apologies for 
getting the situation wrong. Jamari Whitaker for three, front of the rim, no good. Rebound to Hope. Stolen away by Arkadelphia. Let's As Hannah Calhoun grabbed the ball, she was just on this side of half court and stepped over the inbound line, or excuse me, the mid court line. And ball will go back over to Hope. The Lady Bobcats lead by two, coming up on six minutes to play. Man-to-man -man defense, again, from the Lady Badgers as they go back to the man after playing zone for the second and third quarters. And now a traveling violation is going to be called. Nice pressure defense by Haley Nix of Arkadelphia. Trapping in the corner and forcing the turnover. Kaylin Rook Sims quickly the other way. Turnover, ball to Hope. This would be not a bad time for Jamari to get one of her fouls, but she uh, does not. Quickly the other way, Kaylin Rook Sims going to try to catch Hope sleeping. And it's 32 to 30, just like that. Arkadelphia answered a basket with a basket. And it's back to a two-point lead. Blocked by Jamari Whitaker, and they're just standing. Four people standing for the Lady Badgers and allowing Hope to get too many chances offensively. Four fifty-eight to go. Hope's going to go try to extend this lead. That foul was called on. My goodness, the same girl had the. They called that foul. They gave that. I don't know what number they called that foul on. They have fourteen on the board, but she's not in the game. Free throw is no good. Rebound to Arkadelphia. Haley Nix. Quickly ahead to Kaylin Rook Sims. She's going to go all the way in. Euro step layup. Good for Kaylin Rook Sims. She has 11 and it's a tied. Thirty-two, thirty-two. That might have been the spark the Lady Badgers needed. Nice move by Kaylin Rook Sims to tie the game. Long three-pointer. No good. Rebound Hannah Calhoun. Rook Sims up, crossover. She's going to go all the way in. Shot is up. No good. No foul called. Haley Nix rebound. No good. A lot of contact there, but no foul. And we're off the other way. Foul is going to be called on Jamari Whitaker. Thirty-two, thirty-two. Hope's going to the free throw line to try to, ta try to take a lead. Free throw is off the back of the rim. No good. And pardon me for just one second. Apologize for that. Needed to do some work up here and get things situated. A foul is going to be called on Hope. That foul was called on Natasha White. It's her second. Kaylin Rook Sims will try to go to the free throw line to give Arkadelphia a lead. First free throw is too strong. No good. Rebound to Hope. Quickly the other way. Two on two. Now Renasia Miller is going to pull it out. Uh, out of bounds and no foul was called. <laughs> Hannah Fanaki came through with the tomahawk chop and <laughs> they just missed it when she got called for a ticky one earlier. That's 
That's crazy how stuff like that happens. Now Hope hits the three-pointer to go up by three. 35-32, and Haley Nix just got two in a, in a hurry. Second three-pointer of the game for Jalea Davis. 35-32. Lady Badgers trail. And after that turnover, Hope can try to make this a two-possession lead. And in this game, two possessions is really a big lead. The way these teams have been scoring, three-pointer, no good. Hope's just out hustling Arkadelphia on the offensive glass. Another shot, no good. Another shot, no good, but an offensive rebound. And finally, a rebound from Arkadelphia. Quickly, the other way. Kaylin Rook Sims going to go in, shot up, count it in a foul. Kaylin Rook Sims. As she was stumbling, gets the layup to go. Kaylin now with 13 points. She'll try to tie this game. Foul was on Mariana McClinton, and that is five for Mariana. Kaylin try to give Arkadelphia, excuse me, try to tie the game with a free throw. It's up, off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound, battled around four, controlled by Hope. Three on two, kick out, nice kick out that time for a third three of the game, no good. And that's going to go out of bounds off of Hope. Nice job by Haley Nix of blocking out her defender. 35-34. Arkadelphia trails by one, under three minutes to go. Here in the fourth quarter. Man, fine Kalen. She's had a nice interior pass to Hannah Finaki. That is how the Lady Badgers wanted to do it. Nice assist by Kalen Rook Sims. Nice layup by Finaki. And hope another unforced error as the Lady Bobcats dribble the ball off of their foot and out of bounds. Ball will go back to the Lady Badgers. And we're going to have a timeout before Arkadelphia inbound of the ball. Coach Susan Powers of Hope, <clears throat> excuse me, calls a timeout. 36-35, Arkadelphia leads by one. Foul trouble for Arkadelphia. Olivia Locke with four. Jamari Whitaker, Ashari Whitaker, and Hannah Finaki all have three for Hope. Marion McClinton is already out with five personal fouls. Jalea Davis, Nia Kara McGee each have three personal fouls. Renasia Miller, Dania Muldrow, and Natasha White have two. We also want to mention Zariah Woods, the senior 5'9 post player, had four points, but she took a spill in the first half, <clears throat> excuse me, and she landed on the back of her head, and she has not been back in the game. She's sitting with the trainer on the bench, and as we mentioned earlier, we still don't expect her to return to this game. Looks like Hope's going to put some full court pressure on. In the game for Arkadelphia, Kaylin Rook Sims, Hannah Calhoun, Haley Nix, Jamari Whitaker, and now they are... Well, now they're going to come with the pressure. Looked like Arkadelphia was going to be able to get away with it. And Arkadelphia is going to call a timeout. Neither team has called many left. Arkadelphia with three timeouts left. Hope has two. Thirty-six, thirty-five. Arkadelphia, the thirty-second timeout here. As Coach Jonathan Klein wanted to talk about it, set up the press break in the game, and also get Olivia Locke, a little bit more solid ball handler, in. So on the floor now for Arkadelphia: Kaylin Rook, Sims, Jamari Whitaker, Olivia Locke, Haley Nix, and Hannah Finaki. Jalea Davis, Renasia Miller. Daniel Muldrow, Natasha White, and Nia Kara McGee on the floor for Hope. 
Kalen Rook Sims will trigger the inbounds pass. Olivia Locke and Jamari Whitaker, the two guards in front. Gets it in to Locke. She's going to dribble ahead. Ball knocked out of bounds. Good idea by Olivia to try to get the ball up to Jamari Whitaker. Has just tipped out of bounds. Jamari Whitaker will get the ball inbounds. Rook Sims on the right side. Nice inside pass to Hannah Fanaki. Count it for Hannah Fanaki. Another assist for Kalen Rook Sims. And the Arkadelphia lead is three. Two straight. Rook Sims to Hannah Fanaki. An illegal screen is going to be called on Hope. That foul is going to be on Nia Kara McGee. That's her fourth. And Arkadelphia has the ball and a three-point lead with 2.08 remaining. Rook Sims looking to inbound it. Nice job by Kalen to have the mental count. Nice look by Jamari Whitaker to stop baseline jumper. No, gets her own rebound. Count it for Olivia Locke. And the Lady Badgers now lead by five, 40 to 35, under two minutes to go. For Olivia Locke, that is her seventh point of the game. Timeout, Hope. Arkadelphia 40, Hope 35. Thanks to three good offensive possessions in a row, Kalen Rook Sims on the right wing, finding Hannah Fanaki. Nice seal off block by Fanaki to get a layup and the assist to Rook Sims. The next possession was very similar. Jamari Whitaker on the right side threw it down to the right wing to Rook Sims. She threw it back into Fanaki and got the basket to go again. And then in transition after Olivia Locke. A good, a good jump shot from the baseline from the short corner on the left side. The, Hannah Fanaki tipped the rebound back to Olivia Locke. She was able to put it back up and in, and that was six straight points. A 6-0 run is taken in this game from Hope leading 35-34 to the Arkadelphia Lady Badgers leading 40-35 with 143 remaining in the fourth period. Hope will have the ball on this sideline across from their bench, 40 to 35. The Lady Badgers lead. Now Hope will try to get things going. Man-to-man -man defense from the Lady Badgers. Fanaki three-quarter on the post. Shot is up, blocked out of bounds by Fanaki. It'll stay with the Lady Bobcats under their own basket. Ball thrown around, controlled by Hope. Hannah Fanaki straight up, block shot. Jamari Whitaker to Olivia Locke. Shot up, no good, it's blocked. And it's going to go out of bounds. It's going to stay with Arkadelphia. Hannah Fanaki did a great job of staying vertical, hands straight up, and the ball was shot right into her hands, and the girl fell down. The ball went to Arkadelphia, and now the Lady Badgers will have the ball after a timeout, a 30-second time, full timeout, but we'll keep it here. Let's take a look at the scoreboard to kind of get reset the game. Arkadelphia leads 40 to 35, one minute, 18 seconds remaining. Arkadelphia is in the double bonus, meaning two shots if they're fouled. Hope in the one and one still. Two timeouts left for Arkadelphia. One timeout left for Hope, and the possession arrow is with the Lady Badgers. <clears throat> the Arkadelphia Lady Badgers have struggled in about four games this year. Four of their losses have been when they have had a lead with 45 to 50 seconds to a minute left and then not been able to close it out. The Lady Badgers were able to break that jinx last week against Gurdon in a 40 to 27 victory. And they will try to do the same thing tonight against the Hope Lady Bobcats, try to get Arkadelphia its first conference win of the season. It'll be Arkadelphia's ball. 
under its own basket. And someone's got him. Okay, Jamari Whitaker's going to go trigger the inbounds pass. See if we can get a good shot off the inbounds play for the Lady Badgers. Jamari looking inside to Nix to, to lock. Shot up. Good for Olivia Locke. It's a seven-point lead for Arkadelphia. As we come up on a minute to play, a turnover steal by Arkadelphia. Quickly ahead to Jamari Whitaker. She's going to try to go and go to the basket layup. No good. Rebound to Hope. And quickly the other way. Nice attempt at a steal to, uh, excuse me, uh, by Haley Nix. The pass was too far ahead for Hope to control it. It goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Lady Bobcats. And so the Lady Badgers will have the ball with a seven-point lead. And 54 seconds remaining. Jamari Whitaker. Nice crossover. Quickly ahead to Kalen Rook Sims. A nice job by Kalen of pulling it out. As we're coming up on 45 seconds remaining, Arkadelphia has a seven point lead. Rook Sims going to dribble around. Loses the ball. Nice screen set by Haley Nix. The ball's knocked out of bounds by Hope, and it'll still be Arkadelphia's ball. 35.9 seconds remaining. Arkadelphia throws the ball out. Uh, that was Kaylin Rook Sims. Threw it out. Couldn't get the ball in bounds, so she, rather than risk the five second call, she threw it off the left leg of Nia Kara McGee. And Arkadelphia head coach Jonathan Klein is going to call a, his, I believe that's his final timeout of the game. As he knows, possessions at this point of the game are at a premium, and they wanted to get something to get Arkadelphia <clears throat> a successful inbound play so they can either run time off the clock or add to the lead if they take care of the ball and Hope commits a foul. Kalen Rook Sims hit two free throws tonight. Haley Nix has hit four. The whole team, actually both of these teams, have struggled from the free throw line tonight. But if you're Arkadelphia, you got to think that you want Kalen Rook Sims at the free throw line. Olivia Locke has not been to the free throw line tonight, but she's <clears throat> been able to hit some shots from the outside tonight. She has four field goals, nine points, one of those being a three-pointer. But it looks like now Olivia Locke's going to trigger the inbounds pass. And a box set for Arkadelphia. Look for some cross screens trying to flash open. Here comes Kaylin Nix. Excuse me, Kaylin Rook Sims up to the top of the key. Nice inbounds play that time by Arkadelphia. You're not trying to necessarily get a basket out of that. Nice backdoor pass layup. Count it in the foul. Olivia Locke gets her 11th point of the game. Kaylin Rook Sims with at least her third or fourth, at least three, possibly four assists. And the Arkadelphia Lady Badgers have extended this lead to nine. Tremendous, tremendous cut that time by Olivia Locke. Tremendous pass and catch. Rook Sims to Olivia Locke. The layup was good. The foul was on Naya Kara McGee. That's her fifth personal foul. And Arkadelphia leads by nine. And Coach Klein's going to send his troops back, not wanting to risk an offensive foul or a foul on the rebound. Olivia Locke's free throw is no good. Rebound to Hope. 44-35, the Lady Badgers lead by nine. 20 seconds to go, and this one is going to be a victory for the Arkadelphia Lady Badgers. They're going to try to play solid defense and just not commit any fouls. And as soon as I say that, commit a foul, and that's on Hannah Fanaki. Her fourth personal foul, and Hope is going to go to the free throw line. This is Jalea Davis. Has hit one free throw. She has seven points. Free throws up and good. Good looking free throw from Jalea Davis. That makes eight points for her, 44 to 36. The Arkadelphia lead is eight with 11 seconds remaining. Second free throw is short. That's going to draw nothing. And she did a burpee after that, so... Must be a team rule. If you airball a free throw, you got to do a burpee. Jamari it gets the ball into Rook Sims, gets the ball into Jamari Whitter to Haley Nix, and that's going to round this one out. And the Arkadelphia ba Lady Badgers are going to escape tonight with a 44 to 36 victory over the Hope Lady Bobcats. The second home win in a row for Arkadelphia and her head coach, Jonathan Klein. And Arkadelphia, after trailing 35 to 34 
ends the game, the final three and a half minutes on a 10 to two run to win this one, 44 to 36. Take a look at the scoring first, <clears throat> excuse me, for the Hope Lady Bobcats. They were led, as we had these up, by Daniel Muldrow with 12 points. Jalea Davis had eight points. Renasia Miller had six. Zariah Woods with four. And then Mariana Clinton and Kara McGee each with two. For Hope. For the Arkadelphia Lady Badgers, they were led by sophomore guard Kaylin Rook Sims. As we count Kaylin's up, she had 13 points uh, to lead the Lady Badgers. Olivia Locke with 11 points. Haley Nix with eight points. Jamari Whitaker, excuse me, Hannah Fanaki with four. And all of those, both of those baskets came in the late in the fourth quarter. Big buckets for the Lady Badgers. Those were big assists also from Kaylin Rook Sims. Ashari Whitaker with three, along with Jamari Whitaker with three points apiece. Again, your final score, Arkadelphia 44, Hope 36. The Lady Badgers get the 4A7 conference victory over the Lady Bobcats. Now it's time for the boys game, and we will stay on air. We won't uh, bring you anything. We'll stay on air. Clear things out as the boys warm up. Again, your final score of the girls' game. Arkadelphia, 44. Hope, 36. We'll be back in a few minutes with the boys' game. <laughs> 